Well, good morning. I'm just once again out on one of the tributaries and the Columbia River. And I'd like to talk to you a little bit about supply chain. You know, the Columbia River, it uh, originates in Lake Columbia, British Canada, or British Columbia, Canada. And uh, it flows 200 miles straight north, then it turns corner, goes 200 miles straight south, and does the last 800 miles coming through Washington and the border of Washington and Oregon until the Pacific Ocean. And it's a great illustration of supply chain. Uh, the Columbia River starts out really small. And uh, grows into this great big river. As all of these little rivers, streams, tributaries flow into it. And that's a lot how supply chain works. Starts out with one little thing and all these other components are added to it. Till eventually you have a product. Um, the car industry and the rental cars actually are a great illustration right now. Um, Part of the supply chain that's been disrupted with the car industry is little chips from China that go into the little computer boxes that are in the car. And since they can't get those, they little tiny chips, they can't get uh, a car belt. So now rental cars are through the roof. Used cars are through the roof. We have a car shortage based off of a disruption off of what would be considered probably a little stream or tributary of the Columbia River. Supply chain. When we think about supply chain, we can look at the natural world and see how it works in the same correlation that business does. The world operates, we operate. This is operations management. I'd love to hear your thoughts.